Hey guys, welcome to our new video. In this video, I will tell you how you can learn the automation testing without coding and with any programming language that you want to use. So even if you are a manual tester and if you don't have any knowledge on coding, you can still learn the automation testing with the te way that I am going to tell you. So let's get started. First of all, you need to go to your Chrome browser and search Ktelon extension for Chrome download. Once you will write this, you can press enter and it will give you the various options to download this Chrome extension. But you need to go to the Chrome Web Store's official website to download this. The link will be in the description, you can check from there as well. So here you can see, I have clicked and here it is an option add to Chrome. Simply click on it and it will automatically add it to your add-ins of Chrome browser. You need to wait for few seconds, it will install automatically and once it will be installed you can see it on your add-in functions. So as you can see Catalan Recorded installed it successfully. Now let's use it. You need to go to your add-in menu on your Chrome browser and add Catalan Recording. We can also pin it. So let's pin it for the quick reference. So just click on it and it will open. So you can see now we are getting option of remove from Chrome. So let's get started. So once you will open the Catalan Recorder uh, Chrome extension, you will get the interface like this. So in the left hand side you can see there are a lot of menus to test suites, dynamic test suite, test data, extension script and profiles. So let's first create a test suite. So just click on this plus icon and you can name your test suite anything. I will simply name it as demo test suite and click on ok. So now my test suite has been created. Let's add the test cases here my automation test case. So I will take a simple example of Facebook login test case and I will tell you how you can do the automation, create an automation test case for this test case. With, before creating the automation test case, let's see what are the manual steps to create this. So I first need to open the facebook.com, then I need to click the username text box and I need to enter the username Then I need same with the password, click on password text box, then click on enter the password and then click on the login button and at last I want to capture the screenshot of it so this are, these are the manual steps so now I will tell you how you can create an automation test case with it first you need to click on record so once you will click on record Chrome browser will open so let's do it in a new tab I will simply enter manually the facebook.com URL www.facebook.com and it will open Facebook so first I will click on this uh, username text box like I do in manual test case. I will simply put a wrong username. So let's put it as dummy and click on the password text box now. Now enter the password. I will simply put anything and at last click on login. So you can see it is giving me error that password or username is incorrect which I deliberately do that and at last I want to capture the screenshot. So click on stop, it will create the test case in your Catalan recorder. So you can see all the steps, first I open a new tab, then I enter this facebook.com URL, then I click on the username text box, then I enter the username, same I did with password. Now to capture the screenshot, there is a command capture entire, so if you will enter CAP capture it will give you the command name target you can put it as blank and in the value you can name the one you want to name for your screenshot so I will simply log give here login.png my screenshot will be captured in this now to run the test case simply click on play test cases so I will simply click on it it will start running the test case which I just recorded so you can see Facebook it opened the facebook.com then it entered the username then password then click on login so you can see the error message has displayed on my screen and I already ent entered the screenshot capturing command so it will capture the screenshot and you can check the screenshots so you can see the test case is passed so here are the screenshots which it just captured I want to capture the screenshot here once you will click you will be able to save the screenshot as well so 
these are this is this was a very easy step to create the test case and this is my facebook so you can see the various options i can play it from here i can rename this test case i can save this test case and duplicate and can delete this test case as well now to export this in a coding language there is a export option at the bottom so simply click on here once you will click here you will get various option to export this automatic test case that you have just created in any programming languages so you can see once you clicked on export it has already given you the code of this uh, automation test case that you have just created and there are many options to export this test case in various uh, programming languages you can see we can export in java web driver plus test ng ja there are various java option we can export in python we can c hash we can do it in python we can do it in xml any programming let's i choose java here so you can see it has automatically given me the complete code of this test case which you had just created so it will automatically give you you can simply copy this code and without any coding language you can create automation test cases like this so there are other options as well to open the test suite there are some sample projects which are also there to learn more some basic automation capture screenshots verify field is there so pause is there so there are automate automatically created sample projects which are also there you can refer those as well so in this way you can create learn the automation test testing without having any coding language so simply record the test case and it you can export the code of this test case in any of the programming language so that is it for today's video i hope you have liked this video if you have liked the video please like and i will create more with such videos like this and you can refer to same as well thank you so much